in my continuing efforts to uh, educate you about all things crustacean, especially when it comes to one of my favorites, lobster, uh, it occurred to me, uh, based on a lot of your notes and questions, that broiled lobster was something that evaded you. I love making broiled lobster. And uh, most people make one simple mistake. They think you can broil it all the way to cooking it through, which results in something really tough and overcharged. What I do is I take steamed lobsters, let them cool a little bit so I can handle them. The inside is still warm, right? There's still a lot of moisture in there. I throw them under the broiler after splitting them in half, brush them with an herb and garlic butter. I'm not a big fan of doing the breadcrumb thing. I prefer to toast breadcrumbs and put them in afterwards, again, because you can burn them. Uh, but it really is a very simple process and I thought I'd show you how. First thing that I wanna do, is I wanna make my butter. I have a stick of melted butter right here. I'm just gonna put that into my blender and I'm gonna hold on to my bowl. I don't wanna put that into the dish machine just yet because I'm gonna pour the rest of my compound liquid butter back in. This is a shallot and two garlic cloves. I'm gonna put that in. A Couple tablespoons of chopped parsley. I chop the parsley so the machine doesn't have to work too hard. Uh, a little bit of chive. And then what to me is the magical ingredient here. I, I love tarragon, especially with seafood. So I just want the leaves of, oh gosh, I don't know, four or five sprigs of tarragon. Really depends on how big they are and how many leaves are on them. Some are more populated with leaves than others. You know, like here's a little small one. The tips can go in, those fine little stems will puree up, um, but not the larger pieces here, which are very woody. And I just wanna make sure I get lots of really yummy tarragon flavor in there. I want this to be tarragon enriched. And there I have everything Put a lid or a towel over it. Turn your machine on. Mm -mm -mm. Any solids on your towel, which is why I use this. Most lids are concave and have lots of little pieces on it because what comes out of there is that. So I'm just gonna return that churned paste. These, I like these little small guys for this kind of thing. Um, I'm just gonna push this down the side. It's easier to do this at the beginning. I have found and try to do it at the end. Always go clockwise so you don't cut your spatula. And that is gonna be plenty of butter, but I wanna get all of the good stuff out of here. Look at this. And by the way, anything you don't use for your lobster, save it for garlic bread. Save it as a compound butter to put on grilled beef. Fish that comes out of the broiler. And by the way, fish you can cook all the way under the broiler in the last minute or two. Put this underneath there. You don't want to burn your shallots and garlic and have a real off-putting flavor in there. This is just such a wonderful ingredient to have around. I love cooking with compound butters. I always have three or four in my freezer. So put this over there. And then I will show you what I did with these lobsters. I got some live lobsters from Maine and I steamed them for about 10 minutes, let it rest for about 10 minutes more with the heat off and then took the lobsters out and just let them cool. The lobsters are still warm. I don't cut all the way through them, but I do want to crack the claws. I'm going to put crackers on the table for folks, but these big claws, there's no way someone with one of those little lobster crackers is going to get through there. 
So what I like to do is make sure I give each one a good crack. See that? I've started that, so now it's gonna be really easy for someone to get at their lobster meat. And I put this on a rack with aluminum foil, and I wanna make sure that the aluminum foil comes up the edges, because there's nothing worse than broiled on, burnt on food product, right? Real buzzkill. Crack these. And then the way you split, it's a little warm, is you just take a knife right where those two pieces of lobster come together, what are called the knuckles. And you just put your knife down. That's move one. Then move two is go back to the same place and cut through that thinner piece of shell that's at the bottom side of the tail meat. And then what I do is I just wanna pop this open. I don't need to cook these really anymore. I just wanna get that butter basted, brown shell toasty goodness out of my broiler and into the lobster. So, first move. And by the way, this also obviates the need for you to serve a lot of butter with it. In fact, sometimes I don't even serve butter for dipping with it, although sometimes my guests will yell at me and say, where's the butter? But if you just spackle this down there, And then I'll show you a trick when you platter this up that you're really gonna love. And then I always take, I don't know, what is that, a teaspoon extra? Just put it right in that cavity. Because you're gonna wanna dip your claw meat into something and I'll show you the magic of all of this in a second. By the way, you can always just pulse this in the microwave or heat it up in a little pan and serve that as your grill on butter. Open, and then I take this into my oven it goes. I've got that on broil, it's on a nice high rack. Seven, eight minutes, probably all it takes, maybe less. Don't go too close to the burner, you want about four or five inches away from the burner. So here we go, and remember, we just Warm that meat back up. This is nice and hot. We get that charry, smoky aroma from there. Once I see sort of this little action down around the edge of this underbelly piece there, I'm very, very happy. And I have the aroma of cooked garlic and shallot, right? So that's what I'm looking for. And all I want to do is gather this up and put these lobsters onto my tray, right? And obviously you can put four of those down the middle of the table for, for eight people. Um, carefully take your rack out since that's hot. And can I throw this away? You bet I can. But this is all just melted butter and lobster juice so I just want to pour that. There's so much flavor in there. So don't ignore that. That's just deliciousness, right? And voila, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, broiled lobster. So, so, so simple. Oh, you know how most Chefs will always give you a recipe like this one, but leave out one crucial piece of information crucial to you getting the dish right, not this guy. I just put a small skewer 
up the tail of each one and steamed them and then withdrew it before broiling. That's how my tails are laying out straight. No secrets for me, I keep nothing from you fully transparent. So of course the question is, does this taste any good? Well, I'm just gonna say the answer is a resounding yes. And aren't I glad that I put that extra butter in that cavity where the tamale is? That, my friends, is great eating. Mm. The lemon, the garlic, the butter. I mean, that is just ridiculously good.